वेलकम टू द एक्सपेरिमेंटल वीडियो सेक्शन द ऑब्जेक्ट इज टू डिटरमाइन द ऑक्सीडेशन एंड रिडक्शन पीक पोटेंशियल ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड डिडॉक्स सिस्टम बाय साइक्लिक वोल्टा मेट्री द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर परफॉर्मिंग द प्रैक्टिकल आर बीकर ग्लास रॉड माइक्रोपेपिट अदर बेसिक लैब अपेरेटर्स पोटेशियम फेरोसाइनाइड पोटेशियम क्लोराइड एंड द डबल डिस्टिल वॉटर Now let us move to the solution preparation. For solution preparation we need to make the supporting electrolyte that is 0.1 molar KCl in 50 ml double distilled water. Secondly the potassium ferrocyanide solution in 30 ml double distilled water. And now from the standard solution we have to make the dilution that is 0.01 molar 0.02 molar 0.05 molar 0.1 molar 0.2 molar 0.3 molar All of this we have to make in 30 ml double distilled water. Before moving us to the experimental setup, let us first understand the main objective that is to determine the oxidation and reduction peak potential of standard redox system by cyclic voltammetry. In this experiment our goal is to measure the oxidation and reduction peak potential of a standard redox couple. The compound used here is potassium ferrocyanide which is a well known and stable redox system. We will study how this compound undergoes electron transfer reaction shifting between Fe2+ and Fe3+ state. To do this we use a powerful electroanalytical technique called cyclic voltammetry. So let us understood what is cyclic voltammetry. Cyclic voltammetry is an electroanalytical technique where potential is swept forward and backward while recording the current response. A graph called a voltammogram between the current versus potential is observed. It determines the oxidation and reduction peak potential. The setup are working electrode, reference electrode, counter electrode and the supporting electrode. It's applications are in the field of study of redox reaction battery sensor corrosion here the first graph shows the voltage and time and the second graph shows the current and the voltage here two ways possible firstly is the reduction and secondly is the oxidation both is occurring in the forward scan and the backward scan now the final voltammogram which we obtain is cleared from the following image now let us move to the experiment section for experiment section we need to take firstly take the two chemicals that is kcl and potassium ferrocyanide kcl we have to take 0.372 g and potassium ferrocyanide 12.671 g now for preparation we need to take the 50 ml double distilled water for kcl and 30 ml double distilled water for potassium ferrocyanide now after making up with this our solutions are prepared now we move to the dilution part for dilution part we need to take 0.01 molar 0.02 molar 0.05 molar 0.1 molar 0.2 molar and 0.3 molar and the quantity which we have to take in the micro pipette i have already mentioned in my previous slide so our one by one i have to prepare all of this concentrations now after making up with double distilled water our solutions are now prepared now let us move to take the reading from cyclic voltammetry there are three electrode firstly is the reference electrode secondly is the working electrode and third is the counter electrode this is the voltammogram in this there are two axes the x axis shows the potential range from minus 1 to plus 1 and y axis shows the current from oxidation oxidation and the reduction here the readings are noted this is the potential state and this is the whole setup Now we have taken the reading and now let us move to the observation table part the observation table we can see that there are different type of concentration and here we have noted the anodic potential the anodic current the cathodic potential and the cathodic current a graph is obtained between the current and the potential now the concentration of the unknown solution we have That is, y we can calculate by y is equal to m x plus c, and its value 
are given. There are two type of calibration curve are here. That is, first is the calibration between the anodic current and concentration. Second is the calibration between the cathodic current and the concentration. The calibration curve are shown in this picture. Now we are come to the end. So the final part is the result. And what is the result? Is that the final result CV analysis of potassium ferrocyanide is the anodic peak potential is at zero point five four seven volt and cathodic peak potential is at zero point zero three seven volt. Thus, the cyclic voltammetry confirms the redox behavior of the standard potassium. ferrocyanide system thanks for watching if you need more such videos follow and do like subscribe our channel for more such experimental videos